Hi, I'm Jamie Robinson. Usually you'll find me travelling around the world and going on long distance motorbike adventures. But here, I visit US cities and then meet up with a local rider who takes me around their backyard. You are watching the Ducati Backyard Adventures with the Hyperstrada. I'm here in Portland, Oregon, where we're going to meet a fellow Ducati rider who's also a firefighter and she's going to take us around her home city. This is the Ducati Hyperstrada Backyard Adventures. What have we got in store for me? Portland, beautiful city, wonderful people. It's a great little small community, big little city, I guess. We're gonna go to one of the local coffee shops, which is Stump Town. Yeah. We'll also go to another place that's uh, renowned for their donuts, Voodoo Donuts. Oh yes, I like donuts. <laughs> and then we'll just cruise around the city so you can see some of the wonderful shops and restaurants that we have. You can't ride with a firefighter and not go to the big house, especially when she just happens to be the battalion chief at Portland Fire and Rescue. So the first stop after breakfast was the fire station. After seeing the impressive fire equipment, we then rode east, out of the busy city centre and onto the gateway to the gorge. This provided us with instant tranquility and a chance to ride free and away from traffic. Sarah, this is beautiful. It's just getting better and better. And that was a gorgeous run out of the city as well. Where are we? The historic Columbia River Gorge. It's such an amazing route. Yeah, this is motorcycling paradise. Hitting the twisties was nothing but a delight. The Ducati Hyperstrada just loves corners. And with an awesome road like this, and surrounded by beautiful countryside, what more could you ask for? Hard to believe, the more stunning scenery was just around the corner. This is Horsetail Falls. It's one of the many falls within the Columbia River Gorge. A lot of people go to Multnomah Falls, which is the most iconic falls within the gorge. Yeah. But there's so many little falls that are so secluded and hidden that are just little gems. Well, I'm hungry. Where should we go for dinner? So we're going to go to the Edgefield. I think you're going to like it. It's really good food. Calling in at the Edgefield was a great way to end the day and as we rode off into the evening, tomorrow couldn't come soon enough. As I met up with Sarah for breakfast and a chat about where she was taking me for day two, it was great to learn that we were going to be travelling west and this time to the coast. Soon we were heading out of the bustling city centre yet again and as we turned off the main highway we were instantly riding a fantastic twisty road that was just made for motorcycles. Here the Hyperstrada made light work of the technical corners with its flickable chassis and grunty engine and in no time we were at the ocean and enjoying the spectacular Oregon coastline. Oh wow, what a fun way to work up an appetite. Next off, food and that local clam chowder has my name on it. Sarah, we're at the Goonies! <laughs> <laughs> we're at Cannon Beach, which I believe is one of the most beautiful beaches in Oregon. This landmark here is Haystack Rock. Oh, you're lucky. You live in the gorgeous <laughs> area. It's a beautiful part of the world. 
Sarah had done an awesome job of showing me around her home city of Portland, taking me on brilliant biking roads and endless vistas. And as we came to the close of our backyard adventure, I look back on Poland with much affection. Now it's time for you to share your own backyard adventures with us. You never know, I could end up shooting an episode with you. But once again, it's time for me to pack my bags and move on. Which city will I head to next on the Hyperstrada? Tune back soon to find out.